point in the season, I don't know which direction Jannar can go in. We've seen Jannar potentially be on top of the game in season one to an epic downfall in episode three of season two, of course. And man, when I tell you rock bottom is where he's at, that's not even a proper statement for this situation. And hopefully Jannar can bounce back because it's looking bad for treason in these streets. Bodies are dropping. And now Jannar is on drugs. Now, before we jump into this and we break down Jannar's troubles moving forward to episode four and how he could potentially get out of this. If you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions like this, then hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers. So each one of you, I appreciate you. And if you don't see this video at 100 likes, hit that like button. Now for Jannar, the best thing for him to do is lay low and potentially go to Diamond and ask for some help. But as of right now, treason is out of commission and he's going to have to shake back one way or another because it's looking bad. The downward spiral of Jannar didn't start when Tommy brought the BS to his doorstep. It started the moment treason decided to go on their own and break apart from CBI. And also when he told all of the treason members it's on site. Well, some of them took that literally. He even got Chewie to come over from CBI, but he ends up getting popped by Tommy. Then he has little K go out there and shoot at Tommy. Unfortunately, he missed and drew a lot of attention to him. So you can see where Jannard is headed. Now, Jannard has some decisions to make. Does he go at Tommy or does he try to calm down his crew, little K? Well, we know how this ends for him, but there were a few things that Jannard did that put all the stress on him that led to him doing drugs. Having members of his crew committing treason against treason not listening this shows that Jannard never really put himself in that kingpin status treason is an up and coming a starter group i call them the treehouse boys and the reason i said that is because they're just in the game they're playing around they're not taking this as serious as they should Jannard, on top of his crew treason internally messing up and beefing and not trusting each other he owes everybody in the city of chicago so as you see this stress and stress start to stack up on Jannard. We're starting to see why that path that he took was the route that was probably more likely his destiny. Now we know that he ran CBI while Diamond was locked up, but once Diamond got out, he was really showing Jannard that you really ain't built for this. CBI was an infrastructure that was already there. Seeing Jannard on his own, we're watching the whole crew fall apart piece by piece. On top of all the warning signals that Jannard had, the love of his life, Shanti, she even gave him a heads up that the crew treason doesn't trust him and that he shouldn't make a move on little K. Now, all of the warning signs were there, but at this point, Tommy Egan showed up to the house and Tommy does not play. So Jannard, even though he messed with Shanti hard, he had to separate himself from her and he needed answers about little K. Now she gives up the information about little K being over at his grandma's house and she was reluctant to do it because she knew that Jannard would go over here and do something stupid. And we know that all of this is gonna lead to Jannard getting on that H. And I'm not talking about H-Town. Jannard is slowly but surely rotting away in front of our eyes. Now I had a prediction that he was gonna bounce back pretty soon, but right now, it looks like he's just going down that slide and there's no end in sight. If he would have just took the advice from Shanti and left little K alone, he wouldn't be in the situation he is now. DeFranco was about to be on Jannard's case because he's looking for the murderer of the young girl. Now, of course, Tommy ties into that because he was shot at and the feds are looking for Tommy. But once he comes over to little K, he exposes himself to grandma. Grandma has an ID of who he is and she knows that he has the cauliflower ear. So not only is killing little K bad, if anything happens, grandma has already made it clear that she's willing to go down to the police station and tell. So now Jannard has another decision. After taking out little K, does he come back and get grandma or does he try to lay low? Because grandma knows what the streets don't know. And if you listen to DeFranco when he was talking to Stacy Marks, he said in 30 minutes on the streets, he can figure out who committed this murder. So it's real bad. On top of all of that, the Serbs still in the Lamborghini truck, that right there was really when it was all over with for Jannard. 
we've seen a shift in his character he calls up little k who we already told needs to do everything that he says if i say jump you say how high Jannard was losing it piece by piece he just gave the serbs all that money and now they still in the lamborghini truck well little k that was the straw that broke the camel's back because once he talks to him and he figures out that little K is actually out here talking reckless because he thinks he's really like that. Jannard makes the wrong decision. But you got to remember, he's already been on that cocaina throughout the episode. So his levels of anxiety, very, very high. And the drugs in the system makes him think very, very low. The writing was on the wall after he took out little K. Now, at least Tommy Egan seen that he handled it. So maybe Tommy will help Jannard moving forward. But right now, the block is hot and everyone's going to be looking strictly for Jannard. Grandma's probably going to come forward and say that little K didn't return home unless Jannard pays a visit. So Jannard has to make that decision. Is he going to get grandma? Is he going to let Tommy know that it was taken care of? But he's going to have to make a decision because remember, treason has already turned their back on him. And right now, it's not looking good for him. There's really no out for Jannard. I don't know how long he's going to last in this season. Maybe Tommy will help him out, but it's real ugly at this point. For Jannard, I have three options for him. Option one is just to lay low. Option number two is to go back and try to take Grandma out so she can't go and tell DeFranco because we know he's out in the streets. Or option number three is to go to Tommy, let Tommy know he took care of the situation, even though Tommy already peeped that he did. Let him know that he handled the situation and potentially try to join back up with CBI and bring whatever's left of treason up under CBI and just run it that way. Because as of right now, with him being on that H, we don't know where his mind is going to be and it's just going to get uglier and uglier for him. Unlike Vic, who's starting to elevate, We've seen Jannar at rock bottom. So hopefully he can bounce back from this. Let me know what you guys think about that. I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers. So each and every one of you guys, you count and I appreciate you. And if you don't see this video at 100 likes, hit that like button for me. I'm Modi J. If you like this kind of content, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'm out.